With Roblox Funky Friday being a multiplayer based game on Friday Night Funkin' with hundreds of songs to choose from its endless catalog, hmm. one would think that all of the songs are fair for both sides, right? Oh no, no. Today, we'll actually debunk that myth and go over three of the most unfair songs you can play in Funky Friday to stay away from or pull as a prank on your friends. So make sure you smack that like and subscribe so more people know about these unfair songs and comment down below which other songs you think are unfair as well. Let's get right into the list. Number one, Apple Core from Versus Dave and Bambi. Ah uh, yes, Apple Core from Dave and Bambi. It's one of the most popular songs from the mod where you go up against the Bandu Bambi, the god of cell phones all alike. In the actual mod, the song is fun to play and is really fast paced, though there are some harder parts that could be borderline spammy at times. Hey, at least we don't have to deal with those spinning arrows in Funky Friday, right? The Funky Friday version is equally as fun, though we don't have to deal with all those crazy arrow frameworks and gimmicks making it a lot more sane, but it does introduce a bigger problem. Apparently the song is not very fair for both sides. It is said that the left side of Apple Core has been plagued and even if you do very well accuracy wise and don't get too many misses, the right side ends up getting the win many times over. Here we can see an example of two players playing Apple Core with two minutes left. The right side player is leading the left side with 20,000 point margin even though their playing statistics does not match up at all with the other player which can be frustrating at times. As shown on this second screenshot, it is possible for the right side player to get a score of over 1 million points while the left side player is stuck all the way back at around 250,000 points. Though, let's be real, they did have over 2,000 misses due to the crazy spammy parts that the left side usually gets. The big culprit to this is due to the crazy charting that the left player has to endure during those parts, while the right player has a more chill pattern and can coast during these sections. This ends up making Apple Core one of the most unfair songs in Funky Friday, forcing players to take the right side if they want to be able to win not only in high score mode, but in the least misses and also accuracy mode as well. All three game modes could all lead to a loss if you're simply playing on the left side, leading to your win streak potentially getting broken. Keep this as a tip if you may, but if you want to troll a friend with this song, remember to always stay flight and play right. Number 2, Casanova Alt from Versus Mid Fight Masses. Here's one we haven't talked about in a while, Casanova on the alternate difficulty from Mid Fight Masses. Ever since this song came out for the mod, the alternate difficulty was originally meant to be an April Fool's joke as this was when this version of the song was released. The charting was made horribly on purpose due to the joke and nature of the mod, yet overall the fast paced notes flying down the screen could actually <laughs> turn out to be fun for several rhythm game veterans out there. Yeah, I'll fucking match those notes! When it comes to the Funky Friday version however, this ultimately didn't translate it to a joke very well, especially when you take a single player mod chart and incorporate it into a two player game. I think you can already see what's going on here. This time, just like Apple Core, the right side of Casanova is boosted and ends up getting more extra points compared to the left side where the players tend to struggle to rack up points. It's not generally due to the charting this time where the left side has more notes than the right side, but more so the point values for each note this time around. Here we can see an example of this as the left side player has the higher accuracy 
and less misses with 86% accuracy and 112 misses, yet has less points than the right side player with 79% accuracy and 142 misses as well. It is a considerable stats difference, yet the right sided player gets the dub. We've actually collected the max score for each song a couple months ago, and we found that the maximum score for the left side on Casanova Alt was 340,000 points, while the right side's maximum score was a whopping 390,000 points. That's a 50,000 point difference just because you're playing on a different side, which is absolutely crazy. It is important to note that this points discrepancy only works on the alternate version of Casanova. The hard or other difficulties seem to be balanced out and is normal, which is great, but it does put Casanova Alt up there with some of the most unfair songs in Funky Friday. Number 3, Run Insane from Versus Bob. Yeah, we had to put this on the list of unfair songs. Run on the insane difficulty is literally no cap an insane song to play. Originally from the Versus Bob mod during the high months of Friday Night Funkin', Run was one of the craziest songs you could play at the time, and if you even played it on the hardest difficulty, the game would actually freeze up and crash, making it one of the first songs to ever be rendered unplayable. Along with the song also came with lots of memes due to its crazy charting that occurs during the gameplay. It was definitely and still is one of the most overly charted songs in existence. Now this song may not be unfair due to points like the previous two songs, but it is pretty much impossible to get a full combo on it. With the addition of the deathmatch mode being added into Funky Friday a couple of months ago, there was actually a gimmick where people on one side of the stage could oof the other side when it comes to just one part of the song on the insane difficulty. We've actually made a video on this, oofing the most popular Funky Friday YouTubers in the game, so go check that video out for more information. But this was hands down one of the most unfair moments in the game, especially when it came to ruining win streaks. Now Funky Friday found out about this and they disabled win streaks from game modes, which is a nice touch. But even though it was unfair, it was still low-key funny to see people's reactions when they oofed randomly in the song beyond their control. Look at this part! <laughs> oh my god! Bro, how was I supposed to do that? Yo, it instantly killed me! Those are the three most unfair songs in Roblox Funky Friday. Do you agree with our list? What other songs do you think are also unfair in Funky Friday? Let us know in the comments down below. Smack that like and subscribe so more people know about these songs and how it could affect them in gameplay. And go cop some fabulous merch over at CaptainJackTech.shop. Hoodies and t-shirts are available. We'll see you all next time.